hi, it's Tony. Yeah. And this is my story. <laughs> I don't want it to happen to you because it's a fucking nightmare. Okay. In all of my 57 years of being on this earth, I've said a lot of stuff. And the one thing that I thought that I would never, ever have to say is, I can't pee. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can't pee. And trust me when I tell you, if those words are coming out of your mouth, you are not in a good place. It's about to be a journey. I hope that uh, you'll find the information here informative. It'll give you some peace of mind, some great information, some good tips on how to live with a catheter. And the only reason I say it like that is because this is not a common conversation out there for anybody. We're not sitting around talking to anybody about having a catheter. Least of all, uh, what is a catheter and where it's located down, down there, we're certainly not talking to anybody about it. So I'm hoping that the information that I learned from having a catheter in for uh, three months plus, uh, what I learned, um, how I learned to live with it, will help uh, guys out there navigate an easier, less painful existence while they have to cath. I understand that this is a very strange conversation, a very strange topic. We don't go around talking about down there. And I'm not talking about the parts that we can see. You know, that's just the beginning, which most men don't even know their full anatomy and how complicated the internal parts are. The, the internal parts of our reproductive system, of our urinary systems, we have, they have no idea. Like we are almost as complicated as a woman's body. Yet, oh, wow. Yet, we don't have a clue what's going on except for the parts that are visible. And trust me when I tell you, the parts that are visible are one-tenth of what it takes to make that down there function perfectly and properly for a lifetime. Let me tell you, if you knew what it took and how complicated and how it can be thrown off really quickly and really easily, we certainly wouldn't be running around kicking each other in the nuts. I'm just saying, you don't see women running around kicking each other in the, I'm not gonna say it, but you know what I mean. I'm not a doctor, let's just get that out of the way right away. I'm a person that went through, right, BPH, having to wear a catheter for three months while waiting for surgery. And trust me when I tell you, there was no information out there whatsoever about how to live with a catheter and nobody could help me. Not my doctors, not my friends, nobody. I searched the internet, nobody's talking about how to live with a catheter, an indwelling catheter. And it would have been fantastic to have some information out there on what to expect, how to alleviate some of this extra pain and this worry and this anxiety. If just somebody had said, hey, here's what I did, here's what I went through, I hope that helps. And that's the purpose of these videos. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. So yeah, it's odd, but if you found me, it's because you typed in certain words and you're looking at your own system and your own situation, trying to figure out what to do. And I hope I can help.